So guys, after a full year, the Tundra finally got new wheels, new tires, and a nice little lift kit. Let's get into this one. So hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. This is my first gen Tundra behind me, 2006 TRD Off-Road Limited Double Cab with a proper six and a half foot bed. So I've got this thing over a year ago now and the build has finally just begun. So the two questions that I'm probably gonna get asked, how big of a lift and does it rub? Yes, it rubs. Here's a clip of it real quick. Let's see if we could do a U-turn. It'll definitely rub, but. Oh yeah. Decent amount of turns in the steering wheel though. Definitely rub it on the plastic and a little bit on the uh, the cab, the body mount uh, itself. So the first gen Tundras have huge freaking body mounts. So, but doesn't really rub like, even like that, that's perfectly fine, no real issues. And that was a full U-turn. These first gen Tundras have a pretty big body cab mount on this truck, so we still need to do that. We did not put upper control arms yet on this truck just because they were not in stock, and we did not trim anything on the fenders. So, so I will show you everything that is rubbing on this truck with these tires. The next question I know I'm gonna get is how high of a lift. The lift is about two and a half to three inches or so. We did do medium springs up front, and the tires are 33 inch tires, so we lifted the truck probably up three and a half, four inches. I completely failed, <laughs> completely failed to measure everything. And as you can tell, the back does sit up just ever so slightly higher. And the reason I'm okay with this and not a fully level truck is because I actually use this truck. Use it for home renovations, hauling other stuff, and we intend to use this truck more before it becomes what I want it to be in a pre-runner, but I wanted it to still be a functional truck since it does actually have a six and a half foot bed. Let me show you guys the wheels and tires and show you also where it's rubbing on this thing. All right, so coming down to the tires, guys, these things are incredible. They are Nitto Ridge Grappler tires. They are a hybrid between all terrain and mud terrain. So they're not fully a mud terrain and they're also like, I mean, they're a pretty aggressive all terrain, but they are a hybrid. So it's not fully one or the other. These are 295, 7017. So about a full 33 inch tire and they are wrapped around the Stinger Gunmetals VTX wheels that you can pick up on Yoda Mafia's website. These are 17 by nines with a negative 25 offset in the gunmetal color with the lip right here that goes down man it, it was hard not to pick methods for this truck because this truck was my high school dream truck could not afford it in high school uh, but man they look so good in california with methods on it but these vtx wheels on this truck look good uh, going over to the driver's side so i can show you guys where it actually rubs on the truck and as you can see we're rubbing a little bit inside the fender well i did take off the mud flaps up front and you can also tell that we've been catching a bit on the cab right there, the cab mount. So that will definitely need to be cut back just a little bit, maybe hammered in depending on how much it actually rubs, but we do maybe need to do this, bring that in just a little bit. And then up here on the front, just ever so slightly rubbing. So we may just notch the front a little bit. Guys, links to everything that I used in this truck for this lift will be down in the description. If it's not fully updated, it's because Yoda Mafia just came out with this old man emu lift for the truck, like packaged it all together. So once that link is like fully there, it'll be completely updated. So just in case it's not there. Also guys, speaking of Yoda Mafia, if you are in the panhandle of Florida or close to it, Alabama, lower Alabama, wherever you're at, Yoda Mafia is local to us. So they do amazing installs. Ryan absolutely killed it on this truck. The craftsmanship, everything that he did was to a T, methodical and everything. This truck was pretty good and it had the original suspension underneath of the truck still. And we did have to cut it out in the rear just because it was a little bit fused together. But nonetheless, he got the job done and it looks absolutely awesome. So in the front, we did Old Man Emu. We also did Old Man Emu Springs. I did medium springs just because I didn't want it to ride really rough. Plus I'm not gonna put that much weight up on the front. In the rear, we did Old Man Emu's Nitro Charge shocks <laughs> you say that 10 times fast we did their shocks in the rear and man this thing rides so smooth it was the original suspension on this truck so as you can see those bilsteins were really <laughs> really rusted and they were just very old but the truck still did actually drive really nice but now with this new setup on this thing rides really really good like i said the rear end is sitting up a little bit higher we put icons at a leaf in the rear end too we took out the overload leaf in the rear 
But I'm okay with that because it does still sit up pretty good and it's new suspension in the back that won't sag down a lot. So I'm very, very happy with how this thing turned out and how it looks. It's absolutely awesome. Like I said, we still have to put the SPC upper control arms on. We still have to do some trimming, not a lot of trimming, just a little bit. Like this thing with this suspension set up for 33 inch tires, I, I, I mean, you can drive it every day. You'll have that annoying little bit of but once you get past that, <laughs> Once you get past that, the, 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 truck drive, the truck drive is perfectly fine. For those asking, these are E-load range tires, and I have them at 30 PSI, which is very low. I still need to do like the chalk test on it to see where this truck will be at, but if you guys have 295s on your Tundra and about like the same spec, let me know what PSI you guys are running, just so I can properly adjust this so I'm not <laughs> wearing out tread on these Nittos uh, faster than they need to be because these tires, these Nittos are so, so quiet. So guys, if you're new around here, this Tundra project has pretty much just begun. I have some headlights for it, have a new radio system that we're putting into it. I plan on wrapping the whole truck, doing some few other things here and there for this thing. This thing's ultimate like destination for me, at least in my mind and my heart, is, uh, is a luxury pre-runner. So when I was in, so when I was in high school, I, I freaking loved the first gen Tundra. I loved it so, so much. It was such an amazing truck and I just, I, I couldn't afford it, like I said, but everyone in Southern California just made these nice pre-runner looking trucks, nice desert trucks, and that is this truck's ultimate goal. So yes, this is a super budget friendly, nice suspension system for a great look. Like it looks so great. It's gonna be functional. It rides significantly better than what it did before but this is not this truck's final form. So if you guys are new around here and you do like this Tundra and you like first gen Tundra content, it is slow. <laughs> it is slow on this channel for first gen Tundra content, but it will be here on this channel every now and then. So returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right, see you later.